That takes me back. When I was at school, at Marlborough Grammar School, they always used to play a pop song in assembly, and it nearly always was Cat Stevens, one of these, or Morning Has Broken. Then one day in 1977, Miss Marsden, the headmistress, stood up and said, and here's today's song chosen by the sixth form, it's White Riot by The Clash. Uh, I don't think she knew what she was playing, but suddenly we had no Cat Stevens, and The Clash had arrived. That was a seminal moment in my music education. Time for our live music now. Delighted to be joined by Iggy Gould and Catherine York. Together they're known as Sound Effects. How are you? Really Hello, good, thanks. You. How long have you been knocking about together? Uh, in this format, a couple of years, but we've known each other for a while. Okay. Have yeah. you old enough to have gone through the transition from Cat Stevens to The Clash? Yep. <laughs> I'm afraid we are. Okay. And uh, you've yeah. pl played in a few bands in your time? Yes, we started off in punk bands. So, oh, wow. Um, um, in that, the 70s or early uh, 80s? Uh, mm -hmm late 80s writing like your own old, stuff writing our own stuff yeah and then um through the 90s got into indie um you know and then um so you change and reinvent yourself according to the popular genres of the time yeah i think so and uh and, and how, how old we are and what's relevant and how was sound effects where did that i sound effects with an a isn't it is that how, yeah how did that idea come from so the the uh, name of the band is actually an album by The Jam, uh -huh. which is one of our favourite yes. albums because we were influenced by that in our younger days. What's your favourite Jam song of all time? Well, it's difficult to say. I, 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 there's something about Down in the Tube Station at Midnight, yeah. and there's also something about the, the Bad Shepherds with Aid Edmondson do a version yes. of Down, which really brings up the, yeah. oh, the sense of menace. I mean, it's beautifully done. It's yeah. the music. I think some of Weller's later stuff, when they were doing The Bitterest Pill and stuff, I think they mm. are really, really beautifully crafted songs he is are you How, still a fan of paul weller and his work since or yeah, is yeah yeah so we follow him um yeah yeah he was the spokesman of our generation yeah. wasn't he tell us about you catherine where did you were you were you doing punk songs when you were younger no <laughs> okay no, what I was, was i was brought up on um classical music okay guitar um piano and violin and flute and didn't get into the guitar until i was in my early teens okay and then it was the jam the small faces mm. madness bands like that and then a few years later, Blur, Shed 7, things like oh. that. So. Now, you're pretty busy. Uh, you're doing, or well, next week, you're doing the Somerset Arms. Uh, you're doing the Queen Vic's Beer Festival in Stroud. Uh, do you like live performing? You must do, because you've got yeah. loads of dates yeah. coming up. Yeah, that's that's sort of how we put this format together. Okay. Um, not only playing live, actually, even with no amps. So we actually like to play totally acoustically wherever we can. Early it's Dylan, our, then. It's our you preferred sold out. format. And no. tell we think it, it connects with people a lot yeah, better. It yeah. removes the barrier between you and the audience that microphones and amplifiers put there. Yeah. And everyone's sort of a part of it. Everyone's in it together sort of thing. Far more intimate, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going to play a couple of uh, pieces, uh, Captain and Pilots uh, from the Work in Progress album and then uh, All I Do from the second album, Everyday Escapism. Do you want to introduce the songs or do you want to play them? Entirely up to you. I think we're going to play for this. Play them. So this is... Uh, captains and pilots. Well, I was free. There's no one looking out for me. Climb upon the highest tree It was everything I thought it would be And there was you Looking like you wanna do Checking out the kinks I knew Wondering if it's really true And if I was captain of the ship I'd sail I set my course to rendezvous with you And if I was pilot of the plane I'd fly I'd fly so high that I would break on through The atmosphere to always be with you Us. Sitting at the back of the bus Trying not
how to make a fuss Setting up the final rush Cause I was free Cause you were looking out for me On the highest tree it was everything we thought it would be. And if I was captain of the ship, I sail, I set my course to rendezvous with you. And if I was pilot on the plane, I'd fly, I'd fly so high that I would break on through. If I was captain of a ship, I'd sail. I set my course to rendezvous with you. And if I was pilot of the plane, I'd fly. I'd fly so high that I would break on through. The atmosphere to always be with you. Wow, wasn't that beautiful? Wonderful. Do you have enough of a following now that people know the lyrics and they sing along? Because that's a, a very uplifting song, but it's also got a, a sing-along melody and chorus to it, hasn't I'm it? starting to. Good. Yeah. That's why, and how long does it take you to craft them? Are you, well, and are you a lyrics person first? Do you come up with a lyric or do you come up with a, a tune? And, and then you have to do... both happen together. Yeah. So there's an idea, mm -hmm. um, depending on what we're, what, how we're feeling, and then we try and do both at the same time. Um, and then I try and write them so there's enough space and room mm. for Kath's flute and violins and guitars and everything else that she plays, because she plays everything. So that's it. The great thing about being classically trained is that people often are multi-instrumentalists. Yeah. Is that that's your range? Is it flute, guitar, and violin, or have you got a few other instruments in um, there that you could turn yeah, your hand well, to? I've, I was brought up on the piano. Okay, yeah. so we could do yeah. keyboards as well. So I can yeah. do keyboards. Um, I I can play recorder, obviously, because yeah. back we in the seventies, we all played recorder, did. didn't we? <laughs> well, I didn't. Some people hummed the tune down the recorder because yeah. they forgot the fingers. And but, um, uh, I've had a bash at playing saxophone and clarinet more recently. Okay, but I'm a bit rubbish at those and the mouth organ. I'm not very good at that either. Well, neither was Bob Dylan. It didn't do him any harm, did it? He, de <laughs> he developed his own unique style and managed to carry that off. So, you're, uh, have you done two albums? The second album is Everyday Escapism. Yeah. And that, that, is that what you're up to? Is two albums now? Yeah, we've just to... started to record the third, so all the songs are written. Okay. Um, and we've got to get them done in the next, hopefully, couple of months. Where do, where do you record them? Um, we have a portable studio we take with us, so it depends on what sort of sound we, we, we want to get. So we've recorded in garages, or okay. in offices, or yeah. So, so right now we're still trying to work out where we record this one. Um, okay, so you're looking for a space? Yeah. Yeah, and that's the beauty of the technology that's available right now. You can record it all yourself. Yes. And, and also this format is a lot easier to record because yes. the instruments sound like this. Yeah. And so it makes it easier. But there's also nowhere to hide, isn't there? You have to be absolutely on it, in tune. Is yeah. that Are you perfectionist in that sense? Yes. That a lot of, yeah. Yeah, no matter how you could get like a thousand notes right and one slightly wrong. And that irks you slightly, you does it? Oh. Well, actually, most hurts. people in the audience won't notice. There's that favourite one, isn't it? And Curtis Mayfield and Move On Up, where there's a bum note in the trumpet uh, solo and they keep it in. I love that. It's like a split trumpet note. And I used to play the trumpet very badly, but I always noticed that. And I thought, well, good for you for keeping that in and not re recording the whole thing. Okay, you're going to play a second uh, piece of music. What's, uh, it's called All I Do. And this is from the second uh, album, Everyday Escapers. I was a mess, I had to confess You gave me distress when I met you Cause I was a boy, an old broken toy A thing to destroy, but much is true God. 
you Cause all I do All I do All I do Is think of you I was a car I drove it too far Crashed into the bar When I met you I'm in the light So very bright I hide flying kite That much is true 